Welcome back to my channel. I made this video to show you all how I got through my entire pregnancy without a kitchen. This is what the kitchen looked like my entire pregnancy. And surprise, surprise, we're still working on it. So this is what it looks like now. And it's a lot better, but we have a ways to go. And my six month baby bump. Now let's get into these meals. So for starters, we had a lot of microwavable food, like these grits that I'm showing you here. They're able to be cooked on the stove or by microwave, so we cooked them in the microwave. I also have my magic bullet so I can drink my smoothies every day. And then I also got an electric kettle so I could drink my pregnancy tea. And you can see the oatmeal there in the background, and my teacup and we have a grill so all year long we cooked food on the grill um, honestly it's amazing how many things you can cook on the grill in this video i did not record it but we also made eggs on the grill using like a a skillet or yeah i guess that's what it would be called it was a skillet that you attached to the grill and we were able to make eggs and pancakes as well but usually when we cooked on the grill because this was kind of like this was pretty much how we were eating warm food daily for the most part so we would meal prep and here you see we're cooking breakfast but that day since the grill was hot we also cooked enough food for the entire week so we would do that weekly like on a sunday um, or even a saturday get up cook breakfast for the day and you know often we would have leftovers for the next day and we will also cook enough dinner food for the entire week so hamburgers hot dogs we also cook fish and chicken on the grill and uh, steak we made pork chops on the grill once that was actually really good i never had grilled pork chops before but I just wanted to show you all this because truthfully, when I found out I was pregnant and we were still working on this house, I was freaking out, mainly because we don't have a kitchen and I was eating a lot of junk food and fast food. And I knew that that would have to change for me to have a healthy pregnancy. So uh, we bought a grill and this is how we've made it work for ourselves for nine whole months. And so this is just to give you some ideas if you're in the same position uh, or you're having trouble with any of your appliances or anything like that. Cooking on a charcoal grill is a very affordable way to resolve that problem for yourself. And also uh, we ended up getting a stove, <laughs> but the stove actually didn't work. Uh, so, and the oven feature didn't work either. It only broils, so we broiled some burgers and I believe I may have broiled some fish at one point. But the thing about broiling is it's kind of like oven frying, like you're basically frying something in the oven and even if you don't add grease, somehow it ends up extremely greasy. So I didn't do much of that um, because the greasiness was giving me heartburn. But I did not have that problem with food off the grill, so that turned out to be our main solution and as you can see i also cooked these potatoes on the grill and i wrapped them in foil because i had to add water and butter to them to really get them to cook quickly because everything else cooked way faster than the potatoes that's why in every shot <laughs> the potatoes are still on the grill um, but you can also see we were making fish that day um, that was i believe alaskan salmon but you have lots of different options for what you're able to cook on the grill. Um, we just chose things that were familiar to us and things we had cooked before. But uh, you could cook a lot of different things. Oh, look, that was before my fingers were too fat for my ring. Anyways, <laughs> so <laughs> you could cook a lot of different things on the grill. And personally, this was a lifesaver. We didn't really have to worry so much about... Uh, what I was eating and we didn't have to worry about spending too much money on food we were still able to grocery shop and it all turned out well in the end that's it for this video just a bit of advice and even if you're not pregnant hopefully this information is helpful to you 
Join me in my next video to watch me transform a small bedroom into my dream walk-in closet. Thanks for watching. See you next time. And please remember to comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you.